I just I just heard the news. Like all you guys, I just heard the news. The One Piece anime is going on break. You know, a, a break. I look at a break as a month, you know, two months, two weeks, three weeks. Bro, the One Piece anime is going on break for damn near six months till April 2025. Okay, I'll say this. The One Piece anime was getting very close to the manga. Like the manga is in egghead, the anime is in egghead. Getting eerily close. So I'm not mad at the break. But damn, that long? <sighs> I think in general, again, this is going to be a great thing considering where the anime is and they have more time to focus because what we've been going through is like the anime gets posted or aired and then if it's a fire episode, we get like maybe two, three episodes of just eh. You can tell they're kind of recovering a little bit. Then it's like more time and then we get fire again, which again, shout out to the One Piece anime because I think something that they've been doing has been prioritizing the shit that we want them to prioritize. So every episode that I expected to be fire, they've delivered from Everything with Garb Kuzan, I think with Kuma is going to go crazy. Um, going back to Zoro versus King, Sanji versus Queen, Luffy versus Kaido, part one, part two, part three, part four, part, all of them, he, they, they've kind of delivered. The last time that they didn't really deliver, and I think it's consensus based on the community, how they reacted, was maybe the Shanks Wi-Fi hockey. Some people didn't like how that was kind of handled. Um, and this is maybe a personal thing. Sanji... When I, he was supposed to save Edison in the manga, um, I remember a lot of people hyping it up. It was like, oh my God, Sanji moved and nobody realized he was there. It turned out to be a misunderstanding, really, because they thought Zoro didn't even realize that Sanji got behind him. All this different stuff. It was it was more of a gag than anything. Um, all Zoro scenes are fire, for the most part. Um, Luffy versus Rob Lucci. It just, it keeps stacking up. Like the One Piece anime, they've been on a generational run where they have nailed so many different moments. Even the recent episode, 1122, 1122. Kobe versus Avlo Pizarro's hand. Garp versus Kuzan. I couldn't have thought it better myself. Like, if I could think it and put it on air, I don't think I would have thought it better. Like, it was so well executed. The music, down to the transitions, the pacing, I, I thought it was perfect. I, I mean, the recent episode, 1122, they made it feel like Kobe was the MC before the Marines. And it made it seem like Kobe is the great equalizer that they were waiting for that they needed. All right, I don't know. <laughs> this is what happens. I start talking about the anime. I start going off on tangents and just different stuff. But either way, nothing new till April of 2025. Now, I'm not sure if it's going after this current episode because next episode is a One Piece fan letter where they're adapting uh, a story Ishitani is on that. Megumi Ishitani is on that. So after that, like this might have been the last episode of Egghead until April, which I mean, in Egghead, the next stuff, this is the last major thing outside of Egghead for the most part. So everything else is just going to be inside of Egghead. And so I get it in regards to taking your time and wanting to nail it. But wow. But here's the thing as well. It's going to break to 2025, but we're not going to have any like nothing in that span. We're going to have something. And that is Fishman Island will be airing. Right. Hear me out. But Fishman Island will be airing and it will be remastered. It'll be called what? One Piece special edit version. So remastered visuals. Uh, the Wano visual filter, condensed episodes like One Pace. So they are condensing Fishman Island from 50-something episodes to like 21 episodes, which I'm not mad at. However, sometimes condensing certain things, you may lose the message and the intent of the original author. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm mildly excited about this. It's an opportunity to experience Fishman Island again, remastered. Um, a lot of things look better, better pacing essentially and this is what they're doing to replace the one piece anime until it comes back for the most part but i don't know i don't know i it's fishman island right i would say hmm i don't want to go that far i don't want to go that far and say it's the worst post time skip one piece art because i don't think it is i would say in real time after it was received after it aired it was probably the most poorly received one piece arc that i can remember post time skip people hated fishman island I think to this day, a lot of people still say they hate Fishman Island. That's the worst arc post time skip. Some people look at it as the worst arc in One Piece. I feel going too far. It's not even close to being half as bad as people say. Um, I think some of the messaging and themes in Fishman Island kind of gets misconstrued, considering people just like focus on Hody as the the vehicle for what Oda was trying to convey. But I think there's much more to it than that. I think Fishman Island is solid. It's not the best um I th if you had to pick the worst arc in One Piece, you know, it's, it's, I guess, I guess it would be Fishman Island. I don't know. But, but it's like, it's just the worst of greatness. You know, <laughs> this is what it is. It's kind of like the worst Michael Jackson song, you know, it's just still Michael Jackson. Either way, that's going to be happening in place of the One Piece anime. <sighs> We've been eating for a while. And so I can't really complain about what's happening. I've been asking for this 
low key. I've been saying that the One Piece anime should go on a long break, but my replacement was not a remastering of an arc like Fishman Island, which I get it. Why Fishman Island is the one they kind of chose. I mean, it's basically the first arc post time skip. Let me return to Sabaody, but maybe that's where they should have started. Maybe that's where they do start. They give us like an abbreviated version of Return to Sabaody, and then we go into Fishman Island. So it's kind of the first arc post time skip. So it's just like giving us what it should should have felt like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, either way. Oh, what I was saying was um, I did want a break of One Piece anime, but I wanted it to be replaced by cover stories being animated. Right. So, yes, One Piece anime needs a break, needs some cushion so that they don't have to force and the pace would be better. But now knowing what I know, even with a buffer, the pacing is still going to be a bit what it is just because of production. Right. Production is not it's not something that you can just okay with with enough space we can just rush the one piece anime right you still have to have the right animators you know the people that are on the episode to make it whatever it is but you know it's it's still going to feel the same way even with the buffer ex- with the exception of the episodes that we feel like they're putting into a, a, a lot of effort into it so um i would have liked the cover stories being animated i do love the fact that they're doing this thing where they're sometimes animating cover stories within episodes Right. There's certain things that was like, oh, that's from the cover story. That wasn't in the anime. That wasn't in the manga. Technically, it was, but it's a cover story thing. And so they've getting they've been getting a lot more clever with that. Um, like Aokiji and Cracker stuff like that was like cover story stuff. Like, so <sighs> that's really dope. It's really dope. I mean, with them doing this with the remaster, um, the break, they understand the One Piece remake is coming. And, you know, I, since the remake has been announced, Toei has been on point i mean they've been on point before that but they've been on another level yo they're remastering fishman island and i would presume they do the same thing for some of the other arcs punk hazard and punk hazard is going to be fun with the remaster dress rosa it's going to be so much fun um which you know maybe they do this every few um not every few months but <clears throat> maybe once a year like a quick not a six month break maybe a three month you know something like that and then kind of just go from there but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm not I'm not the happiest because I was looking forward to like some of the egghead stuff being animated, but let's see what Fishman Island does, you know? Okay, so I see here that the um, anime episode, like starting with Fishman Island, is going to be airing, the first episode is going to be airing October 27th. So yeah, so this was the last episode of Egghead. That's it. No more Egghead <laughs> until next April. <sighs> like this is the anime. I wonder how we'd feel if the manga did that six month break oh my god i mean Oda would deserve it just considering his work ethic and how much he's done for the past 20 odd years over two decades but damn that would suck i'm not gonna lie that would suck so bad but yeah (sighs) one piece anime on break y'all six months but we do have something to kind of supplement so that's good that they're not just cold turkey they're giving us something that they feel like is better should be a lot better you know i believe it will be 21 episodes from 58 a lot of meat getting cut i mean that sounds crazy. A lot of fat being cut, like meat. Yeah. Um. I know some people were expecting like a, a movie announcement. Um. Still could happen at some point before the end of the year because it's it's in line with what typically happens. We'll see. That'll be fire. That'll be fire with a movie. I just hope it's better than um. What was the name of the movie? What was the name of this damn movie with Uta? Damn. I don't know why Stampede keeps coming. It's not Stampede. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. How. Film Red. You know what? I think because I was thinking about Uta and I was like, yo, like film red. It was supposed to be a Shanks, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Give me your thoughts, guys. How do you feel about the anime getting going on break for six months? Some people are like, I don't even want to be them. Mm, you're missing out. Not going to lie. Um, leave your thoughts below. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.